Well, our Joseph Dames, he's right here at work in the studio doing his uh, job. And we're talking right. about thunderstorm yeah. potential. It was it was a warm one out there today. Yeah, it's still warm. I mean, temperatures in the 70s. We're going to have some cool air moving in aloft, which is going to make things a little shaky as we head into tonight. I mentioned that we have a threat for some thunderstorms. Late tonight into Monday morning, we discussed it yesterday. Still fairly tame right now around the Willamette Valley and through the Cascades, but I have seen some thunderstorms develop up to the north into areas of Washington. I'll show you what's going on right now. We do have some moisture just down to the southwest, mainly just cloud coverage and dry right now. You can see this cluster of shower activity and thunderstorms developing over the Cascades up in Washington. Some of those storms are producing lightning, of course, and maybe even some heavy rain. So that is possible even down in our section. I showed you that little uh, green area in that previous graphic. That is where we're watching as we head until late tonight. OK, area of low pressure right here. It's mainly going to stay to the south of us, but it is going to usher in some moisture. And as I mentioned, some cooler air aloft. We know it's warm right now here at the surface. and We're going to take some of that energy. We're going to use it later. As far as rain totals go, we're going to avoid some of the heavy rain as we go over the next 24 hours. Really, a bulk of that is going to continue to reach areas of California. Of course, they need it. Look at that, though. Southern California may be picking up so much rain that they're going to be dealing with some flash flooding. So that is going to be a concern for some locations here along the California coast. Up towards areas of Oregon and into Washington there, notice yeah, the rain totals drop off significantly. We may get up about five hundredths of an inch to one tenth of an inch. If we see a thunderstorm, we may get a little bit more than that. Okay, some of the views I have Vancouver here. You can see the top of St. John's Bridge, uh, the St. John Bridge there. As we look in the distance, the West Hills from the treetops, you have Stoller with some gray clouds, seaside very similar. And then there's McMinnville as we're looking to the west towards the coast range. Uh, it's just a lovely shot. If you're outside today, uh, you may be dealing with some tree pollens and you may be feeling that some itchy eyes and uh, everything. I mentioned yesterday we may see a minor improvement as we go into the next day or two because of some rain. That's going to be on our Monday, so it does drop down a little bit. But we're back at it on Tuesday and then likely on Thursday and Friday we spike once again. For tomorrow, I do have a chance for some showers in the morning. Uh, but we dry up as we go through the day and then hopefully we'll see some sun breaks as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures warming up to about the mid 60s. There's that area of low pressure that we we're just looking at on the satellite that's going to stay to the south, but it will clip and it will impact us a little bit. Tuesday's ridge will keep us dry. Another disturbance on Wednesday, bring in some rain and then the back end of the week. It looks like we'll probably see some dry time. Futurecast late tonight showing uh, pretty you know, dry conditions, but uh, we'll have to watch again areas of the Willamette Valley to see some development. More so in the morning hours, though. Check out early tomorrow morning. We may get a couple cells uh, to begin the day, possibly a scattered shower around Portland. Dries up, though, to the east, especially. Maybe some clouds on Tuesday, another threat for some rain on Wednesday there with some cooler air aloft, which could bring in some snowfall for the mountains, especially the higher elevations on Wednesday. All right, 62 tomorrow, 63 on Tuesday. There's Wednesday, mid 50s, 54 degrees on Thursday, Friday and Saturday, more sunshine. The only difference from yesterday, Wayne, is I did bring in a chance for some rain on Thursday, but overall it looks like uh, the forecast is going smooth once we get to Friday and Saturday. All right, thank you, Joseph.